This is Tina. This is Tina's little brother, Luke. And this is her mom. Tina's mom has a job, but it doesn't pay much. She makes minimum wage, about $1,600 a month. The child benefit is another $400. She does her best, but by the time she pays for rent, heat and hydro, phones, car insurance, gas and repairs, child care, all that stuff kids need, doing the laundry, and a few essentials like toothpaste and toilet paper, and oh yes, groceries. Tina's family doesn't always get enough to eat. Good thing there's help. All over the city of Kawartha Lakes, there are places Tina's mom can go to to get a few days food every month. Volunteers make sure that food goes to people who really need it. They check with other food banks so nobody gets food from more than one place. And get this, 40% of the people they give food to are kids. This is where the food banks get a lot of their stuff from Kawartha Lakes Food Source. It's a charity that collects donations at its Lindsay Warehouse. The food banks pick it up and give it out to people in need. But where does the food source get the food it gives out? Some of it comes from a place in Toronto where grocery stores send their dinged up cans and ripped boxes. But mostly, the food source gets its food from you. The food source helps feed more than 2,000 people every month. That's more than 20,000 food items going out of the warehouse every month. And the food source can't count on money from the government, so it needs a lot of donations. How can you help? Instead of gifts you don't need or want, ask for donations to the food source on your anniversary or birthday. Hold a food drive at work. Challenge another office to see who brings in the most stuff. Ask for food donations instead of charging an entrance fee to an event. And that's how you, and Court the Lakes Food Source, and our member agencies, can help make sure Tina gets enough to eat.